so I think most of the guy, Navy guys are dead, man, which really sucks. We don't know them. We don't really care about them. But I still don't like how they went out, and I, I don't like how it affects Tashi. I think she's going to redeem herself because she's had a massive failure here. Like, anytime you're the leader and you lose most or all of your men, you know, Brooke lost his entire crew. That was a failure on his part, right? Anytime that happens, I think that has a massive debilitating effect on the person. So she can go one of two ways. She just give up and die, essentially. Or fight back and at least get revenge on the person. Maybe not redeem herself in the strictest sense of the word. She'll maybe redeem herself in her own eyes by solving the issue. But you ain't bringing your crew back. So, I'm, I'm amazingly, I've always liked her. There's always been something about her, a nobleness to her, a nobility to her. Smoker's been a little bit more sketchy. His morals don't seem as rigid. He's pretty flexible when it comes to morality. So, you know, he's harder to like. I like, you know, he amuses me. He's a great character. But of the two of them, I like her much more because she has nobility. She has a rigidness when it comes to her morality. So I've always liked her. So, and I find myself incredibly invested in her storyline in this particular story arc. I don't know, man. I guess we'll see. Let's go and get into this. You know where we are, and you know where we're going. Three, two, one. This is just our first step into the new world. It's been a hell of a thing, man. His tactful maneuvers. The smartest person on the island, pretty much. <laughs> we got all kinds of crazy shit happening, man. Still, dragons, alligator centaurs. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't jump to assumptions. Uh, jump to conclusions. That's a damn problem, man. We have both key figures of the G5 here. They seem very excited, unfortunately. If she had one problem, it's that they didn't follow her orders. When you say something, people need to obey immediately. There's a parable about a, a preacher is walking in the woods with his son. And he's told, he suddenly shout out to his son to stop. And his son stopped immediately. Didn't question, didn't ask, didn't keep walking while turned around to ask, just stopped, right? And there was a snake hanging down from a tree. If the, if the kid had kept walking even one more step, the snake would have been on his face. Probably bit him in the face, right? He had to obey unquestionably. Without hesitation, without question. The parable being in religious terms was you should obey God without question, unquestioned, you know, immediately, right? I've always remembered that story, though, because there are circumstances, especially in the military sense, you need to obey the commands the first time they're issued without question, and maybe you'll live. Because the person issued the order knows more than you do. They have more information. In this case, he had the information there was a snake hanging from a tree. The kid couldn't see the snake. So... Sometimes, especially in the military, you just need to follow orders immediately. If your boss says run, you run. You don't ask why, you don't hesitate, you just run. If they had done that, they would have lived. They didn't follow their orders. They don't respect her as a commander, so it's their fault they died, not hers. Now, maybe it's her fault she didn't make them respect her. But, you know, that is what it is. But when the military chain of command, you need to follow orders and you need to do it immediately. That will save your life. So this is a classic example of that. How far into this are we, man? Like, we're still getting recap from last episode. 
starting to feel like they were catching up to the manga or something, man, and they had to slow shit down. Because it feels like we're um, a good three minutes in the episode. <laughs> we're just now catching up. Yeah, this is where we were. <laughs> I think I heard Luffy and I think I heard Caesar. So it's Luffy versus Caesar. Kick his ass. Look at you. Yeah. He hit you right in the stomach. Bitch. <laughs> What's up? Where does Virgo? Right. Gotcha. Right. Right. Makes sense. He's got to get his heart back. Where the hell is he? Meanwhile, he doubled back behind you. He can move fast, man. Look at He can move fast as smoke. He's going to beat you till you stop looking like Prince. <laughs> oh, flammable type, huh? Two can play that game. You think he cares about fire? I mean, he does a little bit. Oh, shit. Jesus Christ. Okay. I might have um, underestimated the situation here. <laughs> I don't know yet. <laughs> I don't care about that. <laughs> Nobody can tell this son bitch what to do. Rubber bastard, huh? That's what we're doing? He's a rubber bastard. Well, we can't let this happen again, right? <laughs> yeah. So you think I'm desperate, huh? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> you need to get your oxygen back, man. Stick and move. He's going to step closer. Yeah. <laughs> well, I call him a dumbass, but he has a certain tactical genius. When it comes to fighting, he's Stephen Hawking. You know? <laughs> right in the face. <laughs> yes, very fast. He's going to light you up like a Christmas tree. Oh, shit. That was cool. Wouldn't it take at least a couple seconds to remove the oxygen? Oh, my. God. Really? We're doing the lightsaber thing? Blue swords. George Lucas ought to sue somebody. Yeah. Yes, this is pretty powerful. This is a pretty damn powerful fruit power, man. <laughs> oh, shit. Jesus. I hate that gas to that, man. I hate it a lot. That was a hell of a transition. I like how they did that. So? Maybe I like kicking ass. <laughs> He's used that table manners line before. I love it, man. I love it so much. I'm going to teach you table manners. <laughs> you know what? 
Sanji has a particular set of skills. <laughs> Don't worry about it right now. Just run. I guess they're not all dead. I thought they were all dead already, right? He killed some of them at least. <laughs> You're going to attack the kicking man with your feet. You're not exactly the Stephen Hawking of fighting, are you? Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Is that it? He buried your face in the wall? Hey, man. Feels like that was a finisher move. Yeah. <laughs> I love when her eyes bug out. Zoro ain't even worried about it. You starting to piss him off. Well, if this is the fast you can run, you're going to get barbecued. You don't have anything in your bag of tricks for this. Nothing, huh, Usopp? Why is she grabbing the Usopp? Get off him. <laughs> they're, they're both pushing him ahead. <laughs> We're like so fast moving from story to story. It's hard to get into any of the stories, man. It is kind of creepy, isn't it? Who the hell is that? Is that uh, Chopper? Oh, shit. Worse. Way worse. Shambles. <laughs> Look at him. You better run. He will mess you up. Yeah. Room. Oh, yeah. Room followed by slice. <laughs> Sucks to be you. It does feel like you can just, if you can pull yourself back together, you're fine, right? The samurai was fine. Maybe it's because he's a samurai, but I think anybody can do that. So, how do you get through this door, though? Yeah. <laughs> He's not running. He's fighting. Sometimes that requires a tactical retreat. That's all I'm saying. Damn. This dude's intimidating as hell, man. <laughs> Look at him dancing. He is dancing. <laughs> what an a-hole. Circle back around him. <laughs> you're gonna back. You're gonna hit a wall at some point, man. You need to do something. He is coming for that ass, boy. What is this? Uh, the runway in that Fast and Furious movie? Like you're gonna hit a wall at some point. You've been backing up for 17 miles. <laughs> right in the nuts. <laughs> That's how you get him up off you. Get off me! Annoyed isn't the first word I'd use here. Yeah. What's she think about all this? Yeah, exactly. Yep. He just has to hit you in the jaw. I think you got a glass jaw. He is so annoying. He wants to talk about we're annoying. He's annoying. 
Yeah, knock him the F out. It's time to go, by the way. It's time to go. Run. <laughs> Duh. Yeah, exactly. The back door, man. You better know that. <laughs> I like how they turned around and ran, man. <laughs> I also like how they're grabbing their wounded. He dead as hell, man. He That gas can get his ass. No pun intended. Or no rhyme intended. Nope. <laughs> A bully. Get his ass. <laughs> oh, shit. Is he iron? Is that his uh, fruit power? Because that would explain finger pistol, which I think is one of those six human abilities, right? But still. Run! <laughs> we got to go, man. <laughs> Please let Sanji die. I hate this to be a heroic sacrifice. I can live with this. Come on, man. Let's go. Kill him off. Yeah. Time to run. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was a hell. Of a, that was a hell of a scene change, man. That was very well done. This reminds me of the end of a George Lucas movie where they'd be going three... They cut between three battle scenes at the same time, right? It's good shit. <laughs> Jump away. Do the thing, man. They're all gonna see you get punked out on national TV. <laughs> How many times are you going to fall for this? Let's go. Yeah. Third gear. Yeah. Yeah. I will kick your ass in a single breath. Yeah. One breath. You know, some people can hold their breath for four minutes, right? Yeah, look at him. I think you felt that one. That's right. 27 punches right in the face. Oh, shit. What the hell's that? Oh, God damn it. You bitch ass. I thought you were against him. Man. He had that son of a bitch. Boy, now I'm pissed, man. I liked her. No more. Which side are you on, man? Because I don't believe any of this. Like, you'd be flip-flopping all over the place like a little bird. Yeah. <laughs> Without fail. You've been failing a lot, though. So I guess you got to kick this bird ass, then. Oh, shit. I don't believe he's your master. So what the hell are you talking about? Huh. Really? Also, disgusting. <laughs> you got to kick her ass, man. She should be no problem. Like, look, she's she's a little scary. I'll admit that. When she jumped on him with her feet, that was a little intimidating. Kick her ass. We ain't got time to worry about it, man. You can dispatch her. She's not some gaseous, take the oxygen out of the air ass type person, right? He's coming for that ass. We ain't got time for some no emergency bird bird cast. I'm sticking with it. Not what I'm about to say, but you get it. Sometimes you just gotta lean into the mistake. 
<laughs> Speaking of intimidating. Why does it got to be a fool? <laughs> Yo, this dude speaks with so much hyperbole, like a lot of the villains. Yeah. This dude's a problem, man. Yeah, this is, this is another problem. Ah, shit. Really? Really? Man, I hope Sandy dies. I want him to die heroic death. He saves the others and he dies, right? That, I'm cool with that. Yeah. I mean, I guess he's going to jump in and save uh, Sandy. Smoker. Yeah. Now you mad, huh? What the hell's in this room that's so special? Why is he a Brad? He's got to be like 25, man. What are you talking about? Sad. I guess I didn't... I thought it was an acronym. The hell is this? Yeah. What are you up to, dude? I was talking. I didn't catch the last thing the bird girl said to uh, Luffy. So I'm going to go back and catch up. Look at Sanji's dumb ass gonna help these idiots. I get it. I understand. I would too, but you know. Doesn't mean I gotta like it. He wants to kidnap the master and he wants Sad to be. Wait. She didn't finish her sentence. He wants Sad to be, I would think, released? Now I know what you guys are going for. Well, what Law's going for. Since he's the genius of the proceedings, right? Look at her all evil. Yeah, I guess that was it. And he's, looks like he's going for the building too. You know, you see his map here, right? He's going for the building too. He knows that's where he's going to meet up with Virgo. Although I think it, uh, it sounded like, how did Smoker pronounce that? It sounded like he said vertigo. It sounded like he said vertigo. Interesting. He formed an alliance with the Straw Hat for defense. He joined the warlords to get to that room. It's all been about the room. Kind of like he followed the Blackbeard plan, right? He has the worst scenario in mind. Worse for who? Worse for you? Or worse for the world? I'm thinking worse for you. Sad. Is he trying to ruin the new world? I caught most of these lines before. I'm just going over them again to see if I can get new context. <laughs> well, shit. I have no idea what that could be. I assumed it was an acronym, but now I don't know. And here's the thing. Is it an American acronym or is it a Japanese acronym, right? You know, that's a fool's there and there's no way to figure that out. So I guess I'll just go to the next episode.